Group D. And shout out to everybody out there in the chats who've been hanging out with us all week. It's crazy to think that group play ends today, and then we get to look forward to starting on Thursday of next week, single elimination. By the end of next week, we'll have a belt winner and a Madden 20 champion. Decroft with the ball first, and the former Cal Golden Bear, Aaron Rodgers at the helm. He's gonna drop down under center. You see Decroft utilize a lot of different formations when he comes out of the huddle, looking for that defense from Wesley, trying to set up for the best possible attack of the 818 crew member. He's gonna start off on the ground, hands it to Chris Johnson. Decroft not afraid to run the ball. The thing I love about Decroft, the way he built his team, is he didn't just he doesn't have just an 11 cap running back like a lot of these passers do. Decroft known as a passer, but he has that Chris Johnson as you've seen on the first play. So he's gonna audible down a lot to these dives, these stretches. He'll also run some runs out of the shotgun new trips. So he plays a lot more balanced than a lot of these other passers. And you'll notice at tight end, he has Raheem Mostert. That's a 90 overall Raheem Mostert as well. So for a guy who's passing, he's got two 90 overall halfbacks. He's looking to the flat. That's Tyreek Hill picking up seven. Yeah, beautiful play. Motions over a little flat route. It's a popular concept this year. When there's no hard flat out there, you can throw that little flat, swerve it upfield, rack catch it. And Decroft does that. Now he's in a very manageable third and in inches. Muckle Teo Washington just off the Puget Sound. Decroft, a big Seahawks fan. Reptum is the defending Seahawks club champion. Reptum throughout the LCQ, and even though he's got the Bengals uniforms, he's still got that Seahawks polo on it. Uh, TD, I feel like that's his uniform. I think I see him wearing that every day. <laughs> you love to see that rep in that Seattle, those Seattle Seahawks. He is the club champion, defeated Young Kiv in that tournament in the finals, and we know Wesley, uh, his best friend in the community, is Young Kiv. These guys play together. So we'll see if Decroft has the remedy for Wesley like he did for Kiv. You know Wesley is looking for a little revenge for that game. Third and short from the 32-yard line. And back into this trips formation. Two wide receivers to the left, to the right side. Now it's going to be the left side as Tyree kills in motion. Chris Johnson in the backfield. And it's going to be a pass. Pressure picked up nicely. He'll take off with Aaron Rodgers. The nice thing about being in that third and short tie is you can, even with not the fastest quarterback, pick up the six inches you need. Very smart play there by Decroft. Aaron Rodgers does have that escape artist ability, and as you see there, utilizes on that third and inches, picks up three yards and gets a big first down, and here we go. A new set of chains, new set of downs. He's going to audible down now, look for a halfback dive out of the single back doubles. Aaron Rodgers just shy of 47,000 career passing yards, all with the Green Bay Packers. It's going to be Chris Johnson on the dive, and he's going to find his way to the 39-yard line. Nice part about Wesley's defense, he has that Taylor Mays with secure tackle. He said that's one of the key players on his team. Yeah, Wesley's going to need that uh, later on in the tournament. But, you know, versus Decroft is not really essential, but he wanted to have a balanced type of defense. And I like Decroft audible and down versus 146 going to that dive. And now he's going to stay in the shotgun new trips. Utilizing Tyreek Hill, the Kansas City Chief, moving. All over the place. He's going to do another run play. That looked like a little power base run to the right side. And Chris Johnson, he'll pick up a couple more. Decroft really establishing this run early. Yeah, using some motion there for a little sweep play out of that U-Trips formation. And I love to see uh, balance and disguising your plays in the same formation. And now another manageable third down for Decroft. Let's see if Joe Rice, if Wesley can stop him here. Oh, look right side. That's a little wheel route for Chris Johnson, but he doesn't. Hang on to the ball. It's, it's bouncing around like a hot potato. Oh, Lord. Just hit the ground already. Fourth and two. Decision time for Decroft. It doesn't even look like it's a hard decision. Oh, my goodness. Scary play right there. No one wanted to come up with the ball, but here we go. Fourth and two now. Decroft, can he convert this a big play on the first drive of the game? Here we go. Fourth and two already. A monumental play. He's got a little hitch route on the right side. All right, John Ross got cross specialist. He's got streak specialist. I didn't see hitch specialist. <laughs> you know those TNC boys. They love those hitch routes. We saw it. We see J Wall do it all the time. Fancy and Decroft. They love these hitch routes. They use great spacing within their offense and a great conversion right there for Decroft. First down and ten. Decroft. That Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. It's got escape artists on him. Not the fastest quarterback, but does have the ability to get some yards on the ground. He's already picked up a first down with him as once again giving it to CJ2K to pick up three. 
Yeah, Decroft on this first drive, very balanced, and I think he's going to need to do that. Uh, you know, you don't want to just come up passing every play, handing off to CJ, and that CJ doesn't have a lot of cap, but he does have good speed. I mean, we saw Volterax run him in the club championship. So just a great drive so far by Decroft. And Chris Johnson, one of only seven players to break 2,000 yards in the season. He had 2,006 yards all the way back in 2009. It's scary to say all the way back, just 11 years ago, second and seven. Right side, Mostert makes the catch, lined up at tight end. You know, he's establishing this run play, and he's establishing the short passing game. You start to wonder, when is Decroft going to attack deep down the field? Yeah, you know, I think he's trying to set it up. And you saw Wesley there, didn't have hard flats. They looked like he had some cloud flats on the outside. And every time you're going to be able to hit those drags underneath, Decroft does exactly that. And once again, we've said it all drive, another manageable third down. This is shaping up like a real NFL drive, getting into those third and shorts. It's third down and three as Decroft has almost used this entire first quarter with this drive. Dropping back to pass. Oh, Wesley sending the pressure. Rogers outside of the pocket. He'll have to throw this one away. Felt like that looked like a little bit of a premature escape of the pocket. There wasn't a whole lot of pressure. Yeah, it looks like he could have stayed in there a little bit longer. Wesley dialing up the blitz in a big situation. And now another fourth and three. Does Decroft go back to a hitch? Maybe we'll see a drag post combo. Here we go. Another big play already on the first drive. Three wide set for Aaron Rodgers with Chris Johnson on the right hip. Utilizing Tyreek Hill. Lots of motioning from Tyreek Hill. He's going to stay in to block. He's looking over the middle of the field. There were four black jerseys there. And unfortunately, D crops in the white as Taylor Mays is going the other way. Right, can man. Aaron Rodgers make a tackle? Can Taylor Mays find the end zone? Yes, he can. Let's go, man. Come on. Taylor Mays swagging on him. Wesley with a huge pick six to start the game. Wesley known for his offense and comes through. T kind of a bad read right there by Decroft. I mean, triple coverage. I don't know what. He tried to throw a streak and fit it in there. Triple coverage, and Wesley takes advantage. When you throw it into triple coverage and Mays is there, that play is Taylor made for a touchdown. It's 7 nothing. the score. And Decroft's going to look to recover from that early blunt. Let's take a look at our Snickers intercepted replay. Just straight up a bad read, TD. Yeah, just put him on a cross rod or a deep post and just three men right there. And Taylor Mays able to, nice little stick work right there, get a little stop and go. And that's just too easy for Wesley. You cannot make those type of reads if you're Decroft. Wesley with those black Atlanta Falcons jersey. Hiram, Georgia, 35 minutes west of the Atlanta metro area. Population only 3,500. Very small town where the former Joe Rice is from. And he's got a 7-0 lead. Always good to start the game with a defensive touchdown. We've reached the end of one. It is 7-0 west on top. Yeah, Nick, and you know, I was talking about earlier, but listen to Wesley's accomplishments. Five majors, 65 K in winnings, and in four of those majors, these are his placements. Third in the challenge this year, fifth in the Madden 19 challenge, fifth in the Madden 19 club championship, and fifth in the Madden 17 challenge. So when you talk about consistency, when you make these live events, Wesley's got to be up there talked about. Second and nine for Aaron Rodgers. Blitz brought, picked up nicely, looking left side, just out of reach of the defender. And a diving play by Tyreek Hill, picking up a chunk of yardage down the field. Beautiful route combo right there by Decroft. He had a backside drag curl combo. And then there you saw the post on the opposite side, able to throw it in there with that laser focus from Aaron Rodgers and a nice dot to convert and get a big first down. Hill in motion one more time as Rodgers steps up in the pocket. Oh, he's going to slide down quickly. Looked like there was a little running lane for Aaron Rodgers, and that closed up quickly. Yeah, Wesley came free off the left edge right there. No other choice for Decroft but to run up the middle, and he's able to get down. You don't want to take a fumble in that situation. Decroft said things that he worked on, the biggest things, offensive blitz pickup, defending the bunch and being able to defend the Oakland Raiders tour that he's going to see in this tournament is sliding forward one more time. So far, that first key, offensive bl blitz pickups, it's been pretty solid. That was great defense right there by Wesley. He had everything covered. Decrop is picking up the blitz well, but Wesley dropped in the coverage there. He looks like he had a uh, hook zone or a vertical hook cover in the curl, and then he was all over the corner out, and now a big third and eight for Decrop. Back into that shotgun. Needs eight yards. Fourth third down already for Decroft. Wesley's offense hasn't even seen the field 
Helps when your defense put points up as Rodgers fakes the draw. Rolling out left. Got he's going to take a shot down the field. Go, he's got Brown down ball. the field. And he's got touchdown yeah, yeah. down the field. What a super laser by Decroft. Oh my goodness. We never see that row. It's one of those deep S route posts. We have, I haven't seen those in years. And he rolls out left. Rodgers with a phenomenal throw on the money. Back of the end zone. Huge touchdown for Decroft. I didn't see that shot. Cross body, no problem. Aaron Rodgers with an absolute dot to the back of the end zone as Winslow with a nice return here. And there goes Winslow up the sidelines. Wesley's going to get the ball on the other side of midfield. As we take a look at this one more time, Rodgers out of the pocket and he delivers a laser. On the money, rolling out, throwing it basically cross body and all that speed in the back of the end zone. What a touchdown from Decroft. You know, Decroft, he thrives on that emotion. Again, it is surprising, and I think partially because Decroft is so tall <laughs> that he's the third <laughs> youngest player in this tournament. Like, you look at him, you go, this guy must be, what, 28, 29? But he is the third youngest player, and he only started playing competitively back in Madden 19. Exactly. That's what I thought. I did not think Decroft was 19. I had no idea. He looks way older. And he, like you said, he does play with a lot of motion. If you remember in the championship versus Kiv Seahawks, that crazy game that went to overtime, I mean, we saw Decroft how excited he was when he won that game on that game-winning touchdown. So it's a guy that plays with a lot of passion. Wesley on Come offense on. first. He's got Michael Vick and Decroft. That power specialist, Frank Clark, in the backfield. That Frank Clark power specialist, one of the best cards you can have in the game. We've seen a lot of people in this tournament with him. One of the best guys you want to have when you're facing these heavy bunch attacks and gets a big sack right there, forcing a second and 19. He's got a five-year, $105 million contract with the Kansas City Chiefs after being traded from Seattle. And, you know, Decroft, he misses Play. Frank Clark in Seattle as once again the defense getting there and I don't know that looks like another Seattle Seahawks Shaq Griffin in on the sack Frank Clark and Shaq Griffin both getting in there Shaq Griffin uh, not a high overall but tons of speed on the edge that's what you want when you're running these 146 and these 236 defenses as you see those linebackers that's where that's where Shaq Griffin's lined up and now third and 29 for Wesley he, you know he's gonna go for it he's a wild man Vic on third and of Country Mile. Cribs with the catch right side. He'll fight through a couple tackles and pick up 13. Fourth and 17 upcoming. Wait, hold on. Wesley not only has a punter, but he's called out the punt unit. Yeah, Wesley usually known to be a little reckless, a little wild on offense, which makes him so exciting to watch. But here he's playing safe. You know, all this money in the line. Wesley came so close to a belt in the Madden Challenge, losing in the Final Four. He's playing smarter, and I think a great decision right there to punt the ball away. Ask Decroft what he did after his LCQ win, because you know that was just a couple days ago. What he did to you know, sort of relax in between this and the bowl, he said he spent the night of the LCQ relaxing, and the next day was back to work prepping for bunch at Oakland, playing eight to ten hours a day, and that preparation paid off on that first drive as he's able to get a stop in this tied ball game. Brown in motion, he had the touchdown on the last drive. And he's going to look underneath for Brown, who's got a first down and more near the 25, call it the 24. Beautiful route combo. Only had three routes up there. He had that hitch that he loves, then he had a drag going into the corner route. He's able to check underneath to the drag route. He's got him up uh -oh. top here. Taking a shot over the top. Oh Straight specialist John Ross brings it in, drop it in the bucket as Rodgers was getting absolutely obliterated. That's exactly why you invest in that streak specialist. He's able to get off the line. The bump doesn't work, and a huge play. Decroft wanted more. It looks like he wanted a touchdown, but he's able to convert, get a huge play here. He's sitting there going, John Ross, wait a second. I thought you had a bunch of speed. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing you run that 4-2-2-40 at your combine. It's a nice little corner route. And Decroft, after throwing a pick six in that first drive, he is looking locked in. I played Decroft a few times this year, and he, what he what he has in that off trips formation in this New England playbook on the out the outside fade is a really great release. You really have to kind of shade over the top versus it, or it can get you over the or it can beat you deep. And that's what we saw in that play to John Ross and Decroft looking phenomenal here on this drive. Hand off to Chris Johnson. No room over there, and timeout taken. No timeouts left for Decroft. 
And I asked him, do you feel like the LCQ gave you any sort of advantage? And he said, the biggest advantage was knowing that every game could have been my last game of the year. And it forced me to really lock in for each and every opponent. And so even here in the group play where there's no danger of being elimination, eliminated in this first game, he said, I'm going to be locked in and ready to go. Second and 11. Back in the shotgun. He's really shied away from the run after that first drive. It's been more of that air attack. Audible link changing up the play, hot routing and dropping back to pass. Waiting, looking. I thought he might have had X up the seam, but now there's nobody open. And Wesley's defense finally going to get there. A little bit of pressure after roughly eight and a half seconds in the pocket. Went with three streaks right there in an out route. Interesting, interesting route combinations. Like you said, he looked like he almost had that streak with X, but Taylor Mays was there, and now a big third and 15. And once again, only a three-man rush. Here comes the middle linebacker. It's picked up, and there goes Aaron Rodgers sliding down at the 13-yard line. Wesley will use his final timeout. So after Decrop had a couple chunk plays to get into enemy territory, Wesley's defense really locked down as this field goal is up and good. We got a 10-7 ball game. It gets real tough in that red zone. Wesley dropped pretty much everyone back in coverage on that third down. No other choice but for Decroft to go down, get a couple yards, take his field goal. So good drive by both guys. Way to tighten up if you're Wesley. And now Wesley's going to have uh, time here. He has no timeouts, but knowing how he plays offense, he's going to go for it. He's going to try to get into that field goal range. Unfortunately for Wesley, Ty, his first drive, it was sack, sack, underneath pass, and punt. Yeah, and he's back in the bunch here. Looks like he's going to go double post routes. Go get him, boys. And I've seen this movie before. Frank Clark, power specialist in the backfield, taking down Mike Vick. Yeah, this 2-3-6 stuff is some of the best pass defense we've seen all year. Uh, I remember Prodigy running it at DreamHack back a couple months ago. It was really effective with it. And just nothing open right now for Wesley. Looking for a hold on the playmaker down the field. Almost picked off. Yeah, Prodigy ran that at DreamHack, and yeah, it worked for him. I mean, he got a, a DreamHack title out of it, so not not too shabby for Prodigy. It's third and 16. Wesley's offense stuck in the mud. Look at Frank Clark dominating in the middle of that defensive line. Waiting, looking, finding Josh Cribbs. He'll pick up the first down and roll out of bounds, but only five ticks remain in the first half. That Frank Clark is insane. If you guys watch him from the start of the play, he just did destroying the offensive line coming in like, oh, my goodness. But now, you know, nice little dot there. But if you're Wesley, you're just going to probably, you know, throw one up, take a chance. You might even – I mean, he doesn't have a running back, so you won't even want to hand it off. He's probably just going to try to throw a deep bomb, throw one up, see what happens. But great, great – you know, this has been a great matchup so far. Back and forth, kind of no guy – really doing too much. We saw a couple good drives from each guy. We saw solid defense from both. So it's really up in the air uh, to, on who's going to win this one. And Wesley trying to get some, uh, you saw him flipping back and forth between the pages, trying to get some stamina back. Because that took so long, he calls the spike. Quick play, no need to risk anything. That's a real heady play from Wesley. Really is, yeah, real smart play. You don't see a lot of guys doing that. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know if it's going to matter much. We'll see if he has something up his sleeve. You know, some guys can pull Hail Marys out. Looks like he's going to go for that deep post over the top. Oh, wide receiver post action, second and ten. Pressure up the middle, picked up. Vicks outside the pocket, but he's not going to get rid of this one as Daniil Hunter brings down Michael Vick. Apart from the pick six, D Cross first half was darn near perfect, Ty. It was five defensive sacks against a mobile quarterback in Michael Vick. Real tight game so far, but the story so far has been that D Croft defensive line. Guys like Frank Clark, guys like Shaq Griffin, they're really penetrating, they're really getting a lot of block sheds, and Wesley's gonna have to find an answer on how to pick up that 2-3-6. Uh-oh, there goes Winslow off the sidelines again. Wesley has something on these kick returns. He gets to the 27 yard line. What a way to start the second half, a little special teams play at halftime. Here in game two of Group D, it is Decroft with the 10-7 lead. And we know Decroft, he was super emotional at the LCQ and he has stayed loud. We got him mic'd up at Audible at home. Oh, let's go, come on! D up now! Frank, come on! Oh my god, don't get me an animation. I had him. 
Go get them, boys. Guys, make sure you head over to the Madden Competitive Gaming channel on YouTube for access to each and every match from the Madden NFL 20 Bowl, as well as every match from this Madden Championship Series season. Make sure to subscribe as we update throughout the week during group play at the Bowl. The Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel is the official home for VODs of all the best matches throughout the year. That's the Madden Competitive Gaming channel on YouTube, where Madden Competitive lives. Taking a look at the bracket, Group D playing for these matchups. And you don't have a great matchup. Let's point that out. Second place in Group D gets to go on and play Clef the God. Third place goes on to play the defending Madden Challenge champion. So that bye, oh so important to, to avoid a, a critically tough matchup in the second round. We're talking about ages of these play, of these players here at the bowl. How about this? Group D TD only average 19 and a half years old. These are the young stars of the games. Yeah, it's crazy. 19 years old and this good at Madden. Wesley is the oldest one in the group at 22 and D and uh, D Croft 19, Henry 17 and Rage 21. It's just crazy how young these guys are and how good they are so fast. But right now if you're Wesley you got to get something going. You got to find an answer for those for that defensive line. That two, three, six, really giving them problems. You know, I, you might want to try to roll out more here. I don't know. Decroft using spies as well, so he's gonna have to try to find something. How crazy is it looking at a group where Wesley? I, you see him on the camera. He's the old man of the group. I know. It's unbelievable. And Wesley, look at that hair on Wesley too. He's got the gel in there. It's 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 poofed up. Looking like Snooky, but <laughs> but here's a big drive. He got that huge the, kick return with Kellen Winslow. Who doesn't love the, the Georgia Snooky? First and 10, Vic taking off, sliding down. I, hey, Wes, if you are watching this back on the Madden Competitive Game YouTube channel, I'd like to point out TD said that all on his own. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> I did not call you Snooky. First down and 10. Out of the bunch again. And that's the I, maybe the first positive play since that underneath round on third and 29 in the first half, and then he gives it all Frank back. Clark, give me Frank one more Clark second. is dominating. There he is again. There goes that man again, and Frank Clark just dominating for Decroft this game. That's been the story of the game, is Frank Clark in, that, in those sheds, and now it gets difficult down here in the red zone. Second and 14, you don't have a lot of space to work with. Wesley loves to go deep. He's going to have to kind of, you know, go short, lift some posts, some drags, some slants. Got Vic in the pocket on second and 14. Looking left side, looking for Josh Cribbs. Oh, he made the catch in front of the defender. Oh, he may not have been known as a prolific receiver in the NFL, but he's making plays for Wesley. Oh, boy. Real fortunate right there for Wesley. Decroft very upset. That's a 50-50 ball, and Wesley's very fortunate to get it on the one-yard line now. First down and goal. Under center is Vic flipping the formation. He's going to go into goal line. He's got Jalen Samuels at on, halfback, and Samuels is going to get a carry. I'm pretty sure when Wesley talked to this team before the game, I don't think he even looked at Jalen Samuels as a guy who's going to get the ball. Yeah, this can be a difficult spot. I want to see him give it to Kellen Winslow, a fullback dive. Jalen Samuels is not the guy you want to give the ball to on the one-yard line. 11 cap, doesn't have much speed, power. Let's go, Jalen Samuels. I mean, oh, as he falls uh, forward for a TD. huge touchdown, Hey, though. TD, settle down. I don't care how many cap he is. He's able to fall Come over on. the body and find the end zone. Score. And Wesley, after a disastrous offensive start to this game, yeah, he finds himself in the lead. And Nick, I want to point out some, something huge in this game has been these Kellen Winslow kick returns. Decroft doing kind of the short kickoff, but Kellen Winslow with two huge returns, and that one specifically got him into the field goal range, basically, and Wesley able to capitalize. Back on offense is Decroft. As we take a look at this touch, look at look at Stamos stumbling, bumbling. It only matters that the ball reaches over the line. He found a way to do it. Crazy, 11 cap Jalen Samuels from the Pittsburgh Steelers falling forward here, making big plays in the Madden Bowl. You would never expect an 11 cap to do that, but it does it for Wesley there for a big touchdown. Jalen Samuels at home is going 11 cap. Hold on, man, did you just see that play? See me fight my way to the end zone? First and 10, Rogers outside of the pocket. He'll throw this one away. Good defense down the field from Wesley. You see Decroft, very efficient passing the ball, eight of 12 to start this game. Decroft doesn't usually make a lot of mistakes. I've been very impressed with both these guys on the defensive side of the ball. You know, making a lot of adjustments, not making it easy to get out of the pocket or to stay in the pocket. 
And big second and 10, staying in this gun, new trips. Look for another hitch, post combo. As Tyreek Hill comes in motion from the right side. Oh, University of West Alabama Tiger, Tyreek Hill. As Rodgers, nowhere to go, dancing in the pocket, gets outside the pocket, and he'll playmaker Mostert across the field. He'll oh pick up God, 11 bro. and a first down. Oh Good job extending the play. And how about the pocket presence from these TNC crew members? Man, they're so good at it. And that play was interesting. It looked like he had a couple guys open for a couple different times. But each time he was about to throw it, it looked a little scary. Decroft able to roll out, hang on to it long enough, wait for uh, his receiver to get across the middle of the field. He's able to check it down. He ends up picking, a, picking up a big play. Who would have thought that Decroft, after his performance in the LCQ, would be running such a ball control offense against Wesley? It's Chris Johnson up the middle. Big hole, and he'll find himself at the 48-yard line. Finally, a little bit of running game after starting this game with so many runs in a row that seemed to only go for three or four. I really like that strategy by Decroft. Audible and down to that single back doubles dive. We see Wesley in this 146. He's bringing his linebackers back, as you see there. So he's going to have some space up the middle. And he looks like he's going to go back to it again here. On first and 10. It's going to be Chris Johnson right back up the middle. Screamer off the edge. This Jair Alexander bringing down Chris Johnson from behind. I think if you're Decroft, you got to keep attacking that though. It looked like he had another, he had more space there. He kind of got an unfortunate break, ran into his own guy, only able to pick up three. But I saw a big hole there. I, let, I know Decroft is a prolific passer, but I would like to see him continue to mix in that halfback dive. Well, as he said, prepping for this event, he was laughing with guys like Kiv, of course, Pavin, Allen, one of the other young stars of the game, getting plenty of reps in. His second and seven, he looks to the flat. Fred Warner was out there. He's lucky. The ball that ball seemed a little underthrown, and it helped out Decroft as we got a third and six. Risky pass right there again, but those TNC guys, we talked about how much they love those little baby hitch routes. They also love these little baby out routes, specifically from the slot or the tight end position. You saw Decroft go to it there, and now a, a big third and six in the game here. Decroft got to stay alive, down four. Got to get, got to get a first down. On third and six, it's Rodgers back in the shotgun. No surprise to see Tyree kill in motion. It's a little different watching Tyreek Hill go in motion than what we saw yesterday where guys like Dan Deardorff were running up and down the line. Third and six. How about just simple, soft coverage on the outside? Give him an out route, pick up a first down. Soft coverage there. He, had, he was in a cover three look, and, and like we said, they love those baby out routes, that TNC crew, and he goes to it there to pick up a big third down. So, so in this game so far, we saw Decroft go to a hitch on third down. We saw him go to an out route. Those routes really coming through for him. I'd expect him to take this to the end of the third. I don't think we'll see him uh, call another play, but he might just try to quick hike this little halfback dive out of single back. Clock running down in what has been a surprising fireworkless game. Apart from one deep touchdown to Hollywood Brown. Mostert takes it up the middle. And that one yard will take us to the fourth quarter, 14 to 10. And TD, I remember sitting I think you were there probably. I'm, I'm pretty sure you were there. I remember sitting at dinner uh, in San Francisco with Wesley. And, and he was making the argument that I'm a defensive, I'm a defensive player, at least I'm a balanced player. He said, look at the I asked him, you know, why do you say that? He said, look at the entire Madden challenge. I played lockdown D the whole tournament and probably led the tournament in forced turnovers. Listen, he's not gonna let this go. He wants to be known as a balanced player. Oh, without a doubt. And the thing with Wesley, he's not a very sound defensive player, but he will get you to force turnovers. He'll bring heat when you least expect it. As a big hit right there but it's from Taylor Mays. Woo. But Wesley is kind of the guy, like we said, he's kind of a wild man out there. He'll, he'll bring the heat. He'll force you into a turnover or two a game, and those can be the difference. And obviously, when you make four top five finishes in these live events, then obviously you're, you're a good defensive player uh, as well. He's on third and one. We've seen him pick up a couple third and shorts with that Aaron Rodgers scrambling for a couple of yards. And man, I, I would love to see the stats at the end of this game as to what time of possession looks like. Because Decroft seems like he's had the ball forever. But he's down by four after Wesley was able to score on the first drive of the second half. He'll go back down under center. And this is where he's typically given the ball to Chris Johnson. 
going to move every wide receiver around. Gives it to Johnson, trying to bounce outside. Once again, good defense from Wesley. Those star quarterbacks, Adrian Amos in the backfield. Yeah, all that speed right there. Able, like, it looks like it has a hole there for that dive, and then all that speed just comes in, able to tackle him in the backfield. And now Decroft, I'd expect him to go back to his air attack in the shotgun new trips. Look for a drag post combo, maybe with a streak over the top to bring back the zones. Second and ten. Decroft utilizing all that clock, running this down inside of ten seconds of the play clock as Rodgers Throw this to the flat one more time, Raheem Mostert. And we are seeing that two running back uh, strategy in salary cap, where he took both 90 overall Chris Johnson and a 90 over Raheem Mostert. They've been key players. Yeah, for the viewers out there, he's using that fullback wing package. So he has Mostert at fullback. Once you go into shock on new trips, you'll be able to uh, sub, sub package the fullback wing into there. And once again, he goes to that drag. And like we said, cloud flats do not cover drags this year. You have to have a hard flat out there. And he's able to throw that drag, get to the sideline. And a very manageable third and one here. I'd expect a half back dive. Mostert coming off a 772 oh, yard season as oh, Wesley so. shot the gap. And brings down Mostert in the backfield. Nowhere to go. How about the play from his San Francisco 49er teammate, Fred Werner? Huge defense right there by Wesley. And now here we go. This is the play of the game. Decroft with all three timeouts still deciding to go for it. Down four. He's not going to take his points. It's a, you're down by a, a touchdown. You need a touchdown. And he's going to go for it. Here we go. Biggest play of the game, Nick. Down by four. Nearing the two-minute warning. We're already in crunch time. It's how about the timeout used by Decroft? You said he had the full compliment. He didn't like something that he saw. Do you like the use of the timeout there before the two-minute warning? Oh, I, I don't. I mean, you, it, he doesn't like what he had, so he kind of have to. But now you have to convert this. With only two timeouts, if you don't get this, this could be the game. So now it's do or die situation. You really got to convert. It's gonna, you're, you might have a chance, but it's going to be tough to get the ball back. Does have the two-minute warning on his side. Fourth down and three. Moves Ross wide right. Chris Johnson on the right hip. We've seen Johnson on a couple wheel routes look for him. We've seen Mostert on at tight end on the left yeah, side. On some underneath routes. Look at these guys. They are locked in. Heads down. I know there's a belt on the line, even though it's only the first game of group plays. He's got John Ross, and he picks up the first down. He had a fist pump from Decroft on fourth and three. What a dot in the clutchest moment of the game by Decroft, and you can see him. He's fired up down there, head bobbing. What a clutch dot. Wesley bit down on that baby out route and the backside post. What a phenomenal dot by Decroft, and now he's in business. Decroft said his three key players on his team, Frank Clark, Clark power specialist, Aaron Rodgers escape artist, and John Ross with that slot apprentice. You think those three players have been pretty good for him? Oh, those guys have all been huge for him. That's why you spend that cap on these abilities in Madden 20. Abilities so crucial as Decroft audibling down now to another halfback dive. Hands it to Johnson. Taylor Mays is there and says, listen, I know you're not running the ball a ton, but Taylor Mays is right there in the hole to greet CJ 2K, second and goal. As Decroft winding this clock down, knows how explosive Wesley can be on offense and doesn't want to give him the ball with too much time left on the clock. Rodgers, quick pass, oh, look for Tyree Kill. Slow it up there and get yourself a touchdown, young fella. Decroft retakes the lead. Look at the precision from Decroft. He lobs it up at his at the 20 yard line. You never see that. Back of the end zone, possession catch, two feet down. What a dot right there to take the lead in a clutch moment. Clutch up, young fella. 17-14 against the old man in the group. Wesley will get the ball back with plenty of time on the clock as he's just happy that he brings down Keller Winslow at the 25. One more time, just a baby float. Do you have motions over a little streak and just floats it up there, lobs it up back in the end zone. Tyree Hill two feet down and Decroft fired up for a huge play. Yeah, you think he's pumped to be here at the Madden Bowl after fighting through the LCQ. First and 10, there comes Ed Reed, and Decroft's urging on his defense to keep up the plays. We had a feeling this game would go down to the wire, and it's lived up to the expectations. We saw what Decroft had. Does Wesley have an answer? Let's go, I can't wait. Let's go, come on! Screamer on the edge, and it's Jackson this time! Back-to-back -back sacks, give him seven on the day! Decroft with the user rush off the edge in a clutch moment. 
with that Dante Jackson now third and 22. Wesley's just going to get half of this back. Vic has been like a statue in the pocket, not avoiding anything. He's got some time. He finds Samuels, a possession catch, and he'll get down to the 29-yard line. He picks up 15, but has to use one of those timeouts. Fourth and seven for the ball game. Very smart play by Wesley. He got more than half back, and now a manageable fourth and seven. But like you said, Nick, this is for the ball game right here. To go 1-0 and or to go 0-1, who's going to step up? Is Wesley going to cook, cook one up? How about the key players been Jalen Samuels for Wesley? Vic outside of the pocket, waiting, looking right side. That's one. It's a long oh, throw. Hulk goes up and Decroft with the D. Win and Decroft standing for hey, defense hey, gets hey. the ball back. Win the next one. Come on. Great defense all game long by Decroft. And in the biggest moment on the biggest play of the game, fourth down, he comes up with the stop. And Decroft is going to advance to 1 0. Exceptional job on the defensive side of the ball. And he's telling himself, you got to win the next one because when you've got matchups in the wild card round against the defending Madden Challenge champion Noah and Clef the God, you want that by. How about Decroft? His defense today against Wesley, seven sacks and really bottling him up all day long. Yeah, Decroft not always known for his defense, but in this first matchup, going up against one of the best offensive players in the world, Wesley, a.k.a. Joe Rice. Decroft played exceptional defense. He's able to use those pass rushers, that 